Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast, Monday Morning Moments with John O'Leary. I record these so that you and I can begin our weeks in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. Four years ago, the city of St. Louis, my hometown, braced for a massive winter snowstorm with a mighty cold front advancing from the north and a substantial line of powerful thunderstorms approaching from the south. A mighty snowfall was predicted for our region. Streets were salted, shovels were readied, and shells formerly lined with bread and milk were emptied. I remember this storm for two primary reasons. The first is this, the unmitigated joy of my children when the phone rang the evening before the storm, canceling school for the following day. Our kids were now free to stay up as late as they wanted and to prepare themselves to play in the snow the following day. And the second reason I remember the storm is this. The profound disappointment of my children when they woke up early, ran to their windows, pulled the blinds open, and looked outside. Our kids recognized that although they did not have to go to school, there was not even a light dusting of snow to play in. The weather reporters explained sheepishly that this Alberta clipper burst of cold air had been so powerful it had forced all the precipitation to our south. So the kids enjoyed a snow day that day with absolutely no snow. As the great philosopher Yogi Berra once noted, forecasting is very difficult, especially when it involves the future. That's right. Yogi's got a point. Forecasting is very difficult, especially when it involves the future. I thought of that quote from Yogi and the difficulty of predicting the future as the playoffs began for Major League Baseball teams. At the beginning of the season, a group of brilliant researchers backed by vast amounts of data and past experiences, they predicted which teams would make the playoffs, extrapolating how hitters would hit and fielders would field and pitchers would pitch Games were virtually played, winning teams were chosen, losing teams were identified, and final records for the year were ascribed. It seemed the need for the actual season to even be played was meaningless as the outcomes were already determined. 162 days and games later, I revisited those predictions. A team predicted to lose more games than they won ended up the season with the best of all baseball records. Congratulations to the San Francisco Giants and their 107 wins. Now, good luck with the Dodgers. Four other teams that were predicted to finish with average seasons and to watch the playoffs from their homes, like the Atlanta Braves, the Boston Red Sox, the Chicago White Sox, and my own St. Louis Cardinals, well, they made the playoffs. In other words, The vast majority of the predictions so confidently made ended up being as accurate as those predictors of the winter storms a few years back. It turns out, like Yogi said, forecasting is difficult, especially when it involves the future. Which brings me to one more final stat. 94%. What the heck is that, O'Leary? Well, my friends, 94% of news stories, it turns out, according to a Harvard Business Review study, are negative. 24 hours a day, our friends in the media proclaim, the end is near. The other side is out to get us. And if our agenda does not advance, the best of our days are behind us. 94% of the news stories that you see are negative. In the midst of the challenges we face, How do we move forward with that in our face? Why don't we try this? Stop mainlining the news. It's important we understand this, that they are paid literally to spread negativity, to spark fear, to sow discontent, and to inflame distrust. They are paid for this, and they do their job extraordinarily well. Now, my friends, do your job too. Turn the television off. Quit clicking through the political blogs. Stop scrolling the social media sites. No, it's not going to change what the weather does next week. It may not ensure your favorite baseball team makes the playoffs next year. But it will fundamentally reduce your level of anxiety 
and the anger that you feel toward others today. It will allow you to view your life through a completely different and healthier lens, and it will inspire you to spend far less time worrying about the negativity others proclaim as fact and far more time actually leading a life that positively matters and impacts. My friends, this is your day. Live inspired.